Those are good post uh, post Halloween jazz hands. I know. I practice a lot, so I think it's residual jazz hands. Residual goodness. jazz yeah. hand goodness. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. It is Wednesday, November first, which means it is the day after Halloween, which means that we are winning just by being here. Yes, we are. So, uh, welcome to a new episode of the new Comic Book Day Rundown. I am Dustin. I'm the Public Relations Coordinator for Dark Horse Comics. I'm Brennan. I'm a graphic designer. Which is uh, very exciting because um, sometimes she designs these beautiful books. Um, like that one, for example, <laughs> which we'll talk about. That that's not but we'll talk about that later. Outstanding. Okay, so you guys, as per usual, if you see anything that we talk about today that you would like to win for yourself, just shoot us an email at contest at darkhorse.com. We will do our best to hook you up with something we know you are going to love. And we've also got uh, some digital promotions. Uh, we've got a big out of this world digital sale. Uh, that launched today and is going to be going through November 14th. So it's a lot of titles that are in the theme of alternate dimensions and parallel universes and time travel and outer space. So that's going to be titles like Ether, Black Hammer, American Gods, Bounty, all kinds of other good stuff are going to be 50% off on Dark Horse Digital for the next two weeks. And stay tuned for a special code we're going to give you on Sunday for a Daylight Savings digital discount. And it's going to be on humor titles, lighten up for daylight savings time. Uh -huh. You get that? Yeah. So yeah we got mm -hmm. a good pun here and there. Okay, before I make more of a fool of myself, let's go ahead and talk about Usagi Yojimbo number 163. Um, any of you who have been watching our show for a while know that I am absolutely obsessed with Usagi Yojimbo, so I'm very excited to have it back. This is a great jumping on point. It's part one of three, um, and all you really need to know about it is that there is a thief named Nizumi who is a little bit of a Robin Hood kind of figure who's been on the run uh, from the law for a very long time. Um, and now he needs uh, Usagi and uh, Inspector Ishida's help uh, because he is a victim of an injustice. So uh, this is going to be a very fun and exciting arc in Usagi Yojimbo. All right, and we have the once and future queen trade. It's out with the old myths and in with the new as a 19-year-old chess prodigy pulls Excalibur from the stone and becomes queen. Now, magic, romance, Faye, Merlin, and more await her. Ooh, magical. Number three, we have got Granville Force Majeure, wanted for murder and on the run. Detec Detective Inspector LeBrock is the victim of a diabolical scheme. Now the British Badger risks all to thwart the plot and save Queen, Country, and all he loves. Uh, this is fantastic, fun, animalistic noir from Brian Talbot. Uh, so check that out in this beautiful, beautiful hardcover. All right, Knock now. Knock the camera out of your hand. <laughs> <laughs> we have The Witcher Adult Coloring Book. It features 45 uniquely designed and highly detailed original black and white illustrations inspired by the games, including... Wait for it. Oh, break the internet. Geralt in a bathtub. Mm -hmm. uh, an adult coloring book. Yeah. For adults. <laughs> And for manga fans out there, we have got Hatsune Miku Future Delivery Volume 1. Uh, this is another spinoff of the Hatsune Miku uh, series of manga uh, based on the famous YouTube sensation Vocalide Hatsune Miku. Uh, in the distant future, a girl named Asumi uh, finds her only friend in Asimov, which is a fun name, Isaac Asimov, a battered old delivery ro robot. Uh, so these strange companions are going to uh, be traveling uh, among the stars together in search of the mysterious Miku, uh, only to learn that the legendary idol has taken different forms on many different worlds. So this promises to be both strange and very fun. All right, and we have the Massive, massive Ninth Wave Volume 1 trade. Woo. Uh, massive Ninth Wave tells stories of global environmental rescue in a stylish, high-action format, reuniting the entire creative team from the original series. It collects the Massive Ninth Wave numbers 1 through 6. And this is not out today. It's out next week, but we wanted to tease uh, the all-new Legacy, which is a new novella, novella from Chuck Palahniuk. But not only is it a novella, it doubles as a coloring book. Um, a, a very adult coloring book. Very. Um, if you're familiar with Chuck Palahniuk's work, uh, both in Fight Club, his uh, prose works, Fight Club 2, and in his previous coloring book, Bates. Uh, off-color short stories for you to color. So this is an off-color novella for you to color. So uh, the reason we bring this up now is that it's actually not out on a Wednesday. It's out on a Tuesday. So it's going to be out on November 7th. So uh, check for that in your local comic shops. We will talk about this a little bit more next week as well. 
think that's everything. I do too. We did it. Yes. Post Halloween madness. Yee! Good job, Brandon. Yeah. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, once again, if you see anything that you want to win, email us at contest at darkhorse.com for the hookup. Just let us know which one item you would like and uh, check out that digital sale. We will post the links below.